We're standing here at Brooklyn Grange's Brooklyn Navy Yard location. This might be the most unlikely place for a farm to sprout, but in a city as densely populated as New York, we found our space to farm on a roof. We started the business in 2010 on a one acre or 43,000 square foot rooftop in Long Island City. Two years later, we expanded to right here where we're standing in the Brooklyn Navy Yard, which is 65,000 square feet. So we have two and a half acres under cultivation. We grow beautiful tomatoes, peppers, salad greens, and arugula, and the most flavorful herbs I've ever tasted. When we first devised the idea, we actually did investigate a lot of ground level. And what we quickly realized was that land is even more elusive at ground level because of the potential of development on it. So we continued looking at all these roofs and realized that there were some huge roofs in the city that are completely underutilized and are essentially just absorbing sunlight and heating up the building below it and contributing to the urban heat island effect. So it's a combination of sort of several different variables that make it logical to activate some of these large roofs and create a business, an operation, an entity that pays rent, and also a vegetable growing operation. Our original business plan had us farming seven rooftops in our first five years. We quickly realized that that would be a lot to take on, but we were able to exceed our revenue projections for that five year mark by really thinking outside the farming box. And what our business has evolved into is a really diverse organization that offers not just fresh produce for sale, but also all different kinds of events from compost workshops to weddings to corporate product launches, as well as design and installation services. We also continuously evaluate the profitability of different crops and continuing to make tweaks to that crop plan in order to make sure that we're always growing smart. We're planting the right things at the right time in the right space. About 70% of our vegetables are sold through wholesale channels to restaurants and small grocers. And then the other 30% or so goes out through a subscription CSA, which is a weekly bag that we deliver to customers and then also through two farmers markets. For our future, we're continuing to hone all of our systems. There's room for growth and improvement across the board with everything we're doing. We're also regularly looking at and negotiating over future roof space, and we have a lot of goals. 